Hey everyone, it's 444RR and I got a really great little magic trick today. This is uh, the final one on the tricksandwands.com uh, week of magic. This one and the Build-A-Beast trick that I did on Wednesday are my two favorite ones they put out this year. It's a really great trick. This one involves a Kennedy half dollar and a Mexican 25 centavo. Now, uh, if you don't know, this is from Mexico, this is from the United States. And the half dollar, people, uh, people don't believe this, but it still is in circulation, and you can still use it as American currency. They still take it like banks will, and uh, different stores will take it. Uh, but there's three different distinct things about uh, each coin. The uh, first one is the country it comes from, obviously. The second one is the uh, centavos made of copper, and the half dollar is made of a silver-ish material. And finally, the size. If I put the centavo uh, halfway behind the uh, copper coin, I'm um, sorry, behind the uh, half dollar, it kind of hides it. You can see it's kind of going back there and kind of hiding it. So I'm going to, this all would happen in the spectator's hand. So if there was a spectator here, it all happen in their hand, but we'll do it in mine. So I'm going to place the centavo right behind the half dollar. And I'm going to put it inside the spectator's hand. They'd cover up their hand and put it behind their back. So place one coin in each hand. All right, just like that. So now uh, we can, you're going to try to feel which coin is in which hand. You can do it one of three ways, either by what country it's from, the material it's made of, or the size. And as a kind of a tip, two of them are harder than the other one. So do you want to feel by uh, country, color, or size? Size, okay? Bring out the one you believe is the Kennedy half dollar. Turn, open your hand, turn it up as you, uh, when you bring it out. That's good. That's the Kennedy half dollar. Nice job. Now, uh, bring out the other hand, but don't open it up. Don't even look inside the hand. Keep it closed and keep it, fit, keep it down. Perfect. Now, I told you that the Mexican centavo was worth about 25 cents in American money. I told you that. And because we're not in Mexico, open up your hand. I don't even use a centavo. See, I use a quarter. That's what I use. I use a quarter and a half dollar because since we're, since we're not in Mexico, I don't use a centavo. But... Let me tell you something. You might be asking yourself, wait a second, where is that centavo? Where did it go? I still want to see it. I always keep a centavo right in my pocket over here, just in case you want just in case you want to actually have a centavo in play too. And that is guess what? This is a really great trick. This one and like I say, the build a beast. Uh, this one right here with, with the little fill guy. These are my two favorite ones. I did this trick. Uh, I asked. I always go in there when I go to the Renaissance Festival and I ask to see the tricks demoed. And I always say, I always go in there and I ask for all the new tricks to be demoed for me. I walked in there and the, the owner of the shop, his name is Mike Rose, a really great magician. He's one of the owners of the shop. He's a performing magician. He's really, really cool. I walked in there and I asked him, can I see, guess what? And, he's like, and, I, and I asked to see it so he did it in my hands. When he did it, I did not know this was that centavo turned into a quarter. I did not know it was going to do that. And when, when I opened up my hand, and I, because first of all, I was like, feel by the size which one is the half dollar. I brought the half dollar. I'm like, yes, I won. And he's like, good, you, good job. Now bring out the centavo. I brought it out, opened up my hand. It was a, it was a quarter. That just, it fooled me because I didn't know how it was done. And I'm just like, what? Because, you know, we, the cool thing is, when the quarter is in your hand, it doesn't feel like a quarter because you put it in their minds at the, about the centavo. Now, not very many people have held the centavo, so and and you know they're not going to really know what it feels like because you don't hand out the coins for examination at the beginning. You can at the end though, but not at the beginning, um, because you go right into the trick. But the centavo actually also feels like a quarter too. So if they've held the centavo. It kind of feels like a quarter. Now, granted, they could like feel the quarter and say, "Wait a minute, this is this is not the same size as a centavo." But just by feel, just by having it in your hands, the quarter feels like a centavo. Uh, you get the necessary gimmicks you need to perform the trick, and you also get a regular ungimmicked centavo, uh, which is neat because you can bring out the centavo at the end, like I did. So it's a really great trick. It's called Guess What. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the trick. It's one of my favorites that Tricks and Wands put out this year. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Magic Challenge video.